Stuart, uh, firstly, thank you for the invitation here to Titan Wheels in Kidderminster. Before we talk about this uh, marvellous new installation behind us, tell us briefly about the company. Uh, the company, we've been here since 1904, making wheels for the off-road earth mover. Uh, currently doing about 450 wheels per day. Uh, export to, uh, mo well, everything is export. It's a phenomenal amount of wheels. I mean, what, what sort of industries are they for? They're all for earth mover, off-road, like I say, it's all earth mover mining. Uh, we do a lot of auto crane. Uh, and there's a lot of noise going on in the background. So do you do everything here? Do you do the, the, the obviously the pressing that we can hear of the, of the product and then obviously the, the machining and the finishing of them? Yeah, everything we buy comes as flat pack steel. We roll it, we weld it, we form it, machine it. It then goes over to another department to jigsaw it all together. 450 a day, wow. Okay, so onto this machine yeah. here. You've got a Honor vertical lathe. Yeah. Part of your process is obviously the machining of the, of the wheels. Uh, this is doing it um, a lot faster than your previous method. Why did you select the Honor, Stuart? Originally, we went out to the market, looked at different machinery. Uh, Honor came to us because they have a solid lock system. We looked at that. Uh, they tried to sell us that. They could do a bigger depth of cut. Uh, which is important because when when you're doing 450 wheels a day, I know they're not all passing through this machine, but if you know the amount that are, the quicker you can get them off the machine, the better. It appealed to me because we do three, four depths of cut. Uh, the part we've got at the moment that was three depths of cut going down the bore. We asked Honor, and they said, well, if, if it could do what it said it could do, we could do two passes. Uh, so that's why we had to go. We I went to, to Taiwan. I asked them to prove that, that was the only section I wanted to see, could you machine a 10 mil depth of cut down the OD, down there across the face, and they proved it to us. So most of the machining here, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, is on the ID and the OD? Yes, yeah, yeah. we make a lot of tall parts, if you can imagine a big wheel, it's a barrel, uh, we have to get in the inside, outside, so we need a ram type base machine. Uh, a lot of companies were offering us turrets, that was no good to us, so we went for the ram base. We was after a ram base. It was always going to be one or the other in the end. Well, it's fair to say you did a lot of research, didn't yeah. you, on the machines available in the market. You didn't just opt for this because it was the first one to be presented to you. You looked at machines with, with turrets and, and with the rams, as you said. Um, tell me about the, the lock-in system on here and the solid lock and what difference you think that made to the overall production on the part? There's solid lock to me. I mean, I've never seen it in the field before. I, I've been operating machines and then going onto machines. We actually was took out by GS. We see one of these machines in the field and speaking to the operator themselves, he was nothing but praise for it. So again, I looked at it and I thought, well, I mean, from a BT50 taper to the solid lock, it's, it's, well, it's I believe a BT50 tape has about two or three tons of clamping force. This has about ten. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. And you can well, you can see it in the the cutting that we do. I was shocked yesterday when I actually put the program in to have a go. I was shocked. And you also have done tried to do a similar cut on one of your other machines, but apparently it stalled the tape. Oh, yeah, yeah. It runs to an old stores. It screams the motor stalls. So again, we do three passes on that. Uh, this has got a six-jaw chuck on here as well. Is that important? Your the work on it? We, we have a lot of three-jaw chucks on site, which we have to make rings to make the room part, uh, the wheel round. So it was definitely we needed a six-jaw chuck. We have got another six-jaw chuck on site, but again, it can't do the three depths of cut. So the chuck helps with the part itself, but it doesn't help with the depth of cut. So what about the cutting tools as well? Because that was similar. Didn't you have one of your uh, Seco come in here and you use their cutting tools on this machine and they... It, it, it helped and it worked, but they put yeah. that same tool somewhere else and you had the same C problem. Seco can offer us a, quite a lot of so Not only just Seco, we have Mitsubishi as well, but Seco came in with their upgrade into it, but it just wasn't capable on our machine. The machine stalled, so we've gone to a different grade. They're chomping up the bits to get on this one. I'm not surprised. Um, DTS UK supply the Honor machines here in the UK. Part of this whole package came down to the fact that they supported you well actually took you on that journey of making sure this was the right machine. Technically, they're pretty well equipped, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, DTS, I, I can't fault them. I, I, I'd never heard of them. We went out in the field from the original meeting. They've been nothing but helpful. I mean, even now with the machine on site, and I think when we sign it over, they'll still be there. I've got phone numbers of everybody, the engineers. I, I'm totally professional.
at the Taiwan trip. You had a bit of fun over there, I imagine, didn't you? I really enjoyed Taiwan. I mean, I haven't been abroad for a long time, so to go there, it was an experience. Yeah, really good. But the great thing is, what they did over there is actually prove to you that this machine was the perfect solution here for Taiwan. Not only look after us, they proved it. I mean, uh, there was things with the machine that I wasn't happy with, and they altered that overnight. That was done for the next morning. Uh, so, totally turning this machine, no milling? No, no, no. This is uh, just a turning machine. We are looking at a live spindle again. Same version, but live spindle. Not another trip to Taiwan, I'm sure. Sorry? Not another trip to Taiwan. Hopefully. Okay, brilliant. Thank you very much, Stuart. Thanks okay. for your time. Thank you very much, Paul.